So outgoing CEO Gillian McLaughlin brought St Kilda back to Moorabbin, crunched the Optus Stadium deal, guided us through COVID, but he did a few other things as well, didn't he, Matthew Lloyd? And <laughs> this was one of your favourites. Oh, I had to laugh when he thought, what am I in for here? Sheets dragged him to promote the country game. The next minute he's holding a stuffed sheet, but he's looking down at it and going, what am I doing? I'm the CEO of the AFL. He just had to laugh and joke and listen to the wackiest man in footy, Kevin Sheedy, bang on about the country game. I love that yeah. shot. And Ed, um, unlike Andrew Dimitriou, he didn't make the AFL grade, but he wasn't a bad amateur footballer. He was a very good amateur footballer at University of Houston. Now, what? Watch this, because I've seen this a thousand times because he shows me every time he sees me. Did you see that? The big man. Look, he's picked it up like Cooter. Blind turn. Runs in number 45 and goes bang. There you go. He can kick a goal. I think we can draft him. Yeah. Oh, very nice facilities at that Uni Blues home ground. Don't know where they got the funding yeah. from. Ross, um, we did have a bit of fun at all those Zoom meetings during COVID, didn't we, with Gillan McLaughlin? Well, Gillan is known for his immaculate presentation. And then I think he might have shifted up to in the hippie colony, yeah, <laughs> zooming in from up there. So uh, the wild, rugged look for Gillen there. And the slide. Matthew, this was one of your favourites, wasn't it? Oh, what I loved about this, he just put his hand up and said, yep, I didn't do it, but meatloaf was a disaster. And I had to listen to him before he went down the slide. I just thought it appropriate here, on this stage, he sung here, he brought great shame <laughs> and disgrace to the whole game of Australian football. And I've lived with it, even though it wasn't my decision, it was everyone knew it was Andrew Dimitro. So I have lived with it every day for a decade, and it is time to exercise the demons. Gillian McLaughlin, the sea! I think, I think Gillen would have rocked that outfit in the early 2000s, um, <laughs> quite seriously. It wouldn't be a bit of a laugh at Gillen's expense oh, exactly. without the warnable carnival, Ed, would it? Yeah, now this ago. was a guy who tried to tell me what Collingwood should wear. Now, what does he know about fashion, this guy? Seriously, Colonel Mustard at the Warnable <laughs> races. I don't know what was going on. Clearly, uh, Laura, his wife, was away on holiday that week. And <laughs> Looks like and he went. for feathers. <laughs> it, did, <laughs> it did dispel that polo-playing member of the South yeah. Australian squad. <laughs> Quadrocracy routine that he had going, didn't it? Many years ahead, Gillen, have been able to go to the yeah. Warnable Carnival and not worry yeah. about any of that stuff. Good that on you, mate. That was the final five for this week. He's a ripper. <laughs>